Hey friends, it's that time again. The time where we can take a mental break from work, school, or life. Where we willingly put ourselves into a scenario that might terrify us. Today we have an indie horror game titled Caught on Camera. And this is in the same vein as games like I'm on Observation Duty. Or as you guys have recommended to me many times, Alternate Watch. And don't worry. We'll get to that game eventually. But for now, caught on camera caught my interest. And I thought it would be fun for us to experience together. I think that one of the reasons why these types of games are so effective is because they take an ordinary situation and create a terrifying experience out of it. We're looking at a seemingly normal house, seemingly normal furniture, and expecting seemingly normal events to occur. Until something unexpected happens. Remember, things that are familiar yet different are inherently scary, and these games play on that fact. Before we start the game, I want to leave you with some words of encouragement. That passion you've been thinking of on and off again for the past month, pick it back up. Dive head first into it. Fall in love with that passion again. The feeling of getting lost in a creative endeavor is a beautiful one, and I know you guys have all sorts of talents and creative interests. You tell me about them all the time, and I love hearing about them. If you've put those passions down for a bit, do me a favor. Give him another shot. Remind yourself why you fell in love with that passion in the first place. Love you guys, and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is Caught on Camera. Okay, survive until 6 a.m. Report any anomalies. A warning will appear if you have too many. Take a moment to read the report section bottom right on the screen to see all the types of anomalies that exist. So we're going to be seeing a normal home and we have access to the cameras. I think, um, we have to look for oddities while also getting familiar with the surrounding environment. So we know what's normal. Let's start and take a look. Oh, right away. Okay, here we go. Let's bring up the report. We have the bedroom, living room, kitchen, hallway, moved, replaced object. Uh, missing object, strange light, distorted, other, strange painting, extra object. What do we mean by strange painting? Okay, let's, let's take a look around. Hallway, kitchen. Are these strange? Living room. Huh. Should I be looking for... Okay, you know what? Let me not question stuff too much. Because I have a feeling... I'm looking very closely at everything. Does anything look like it was moved? It's very quiet. What is that in the window? I don't know what that is. Let me do... Kitchen... That's not a painting there. Mm, distorted object? I can do other? Did that work? It's reporting something. Not found. Okay. So I don't know what that is in the window or if that's playing tricks on me. Let's assume that that's normal. It looks like a face. I'm not sure if you guys can see that well, but it looks like a face to me. Nothing out of... Distorted painting. That painting did not look like that all the way to the left. So this is the bedroom, and we're going to do strange painting. That painting did not have a face on it. Fixing. Okay. So that is a little bit more on the subtle side. It didn't jump out on me necessarily. I don't see anything moved here. I think the windows were cracked? Before? Well, now I don't know. Now I'm questioning myself. I don't think that that's... Let me see. Kitchen... Distorted object? Or is that normal? It's so quiet. This game is so quiet. So there was a distorted object, but I don't think it was the one I was looking at, because that still looks the same. 
Oh, this is so creepy. Anything to report. I don't see anything moved here. Shoes under the bed, clothes on the floor. Looks normal to me. I keep checking the windows obsessively. Nothing looks distorted. Oh man, these games are so creepy. Do you guys see anything weird going on? I don't see any type of abnormalities. I think the carpet? Huh. Extra object, strange painting. <laughs> strange light. Missing object. So stuff can just go missing randomly? That looks like a face to me. And I'm really skeptical. Hello? That's normal, that's normal. And I'm pretty sure those windows... Alright, we have to make it to 6 a.m. here. I don't see anything weird. At all. Unless the windows are not... Was that light always there? Alright, now I'm questioning everything. These types of games make me very nervous because every small object you start to question. Wait a minute, was that there the last time I looked? Has that always been there? Too many anomalies, I don't see anything. I'm gonna go intruder here. The face in the window. Not found. What is that then? I don't know what they mean by too many anomalies. I don't see anything. Strange light? Is that it? Not found. Wow. I'm whiffing big time here. And I- oh, that painting is messed up, I think. So far, those are the only ones I've been able- oh, I haven't been selecting the right rooms. Although I did on the kitchen. That painting's messed up, though. Fixing. Okay. So, for some reason, I'm only able to find the paintings. No idea why. Here. Let's try bedroom, strange light, and send that. Because apparently we've had multiple anomalies. Not found. Okay. Man. Doesn't seem to be a negative to that was not on the floor. Moved object. We're going to go living room. Moved or replaced object. That remote has not been on the floor. No way. Bingo. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're figuring some stuff out. That one was pretty obvious, though. And I'm still questioning that face in the window. Does that not look like a face? Am I crazy? It's not other. It's not intruder. Not a strange painting. Distorted object? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh!
I hate that. It was a faceless person that, oh God, the way she was moving, that, that looked so wrong, but familiar. It's, it's that concept that the concept of being familiar yet different enough to be scary. And that was right in your face. Way too obvious, of course. Okay. I'm not seeing anything, but I'm going to hit moved object here because I have a feeling that either these shoes or these clothes aren't in the exact same spot. And we're going to take a risk on that. Boom. But it wasn't the shoes or the clothes? Was the carpet moved? What was moved? Maybe it was the carpet. Okay. Everything looks good here. I don't see anything distorted either. Wait. No, that was just movement from the curtains. Which is natural. And I feel like... Maybe that's just a tree. Or a bush outside the house. Maybe it's not a face that's been staring at me this entire time. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything more here. They have an interesting light lighting fixture in the, the main part of the living room here, but I don't think that that's indicative of something wrong. Was that painting moved? Yes. That painting just moved. You failed? I had too many anomalies. You fixed six. Okay, we're going to get real familiar with this environment here. So here we go. Kitchen. So these windows do start open. But it's telling me I had too many anomalies. I don't understand... What was wrong? That that painting did move, by the way. So we're going to keep an eye on that. I still don't know what that is in the window. I'm going to assume there's nothing wrong with it. Because... Well... I can't tell. And the, the methods I've tried... Have not been solid. Okay. I'm definitely nervous. I feel like at any... Oh my god. You get out of the house. Why do the things in this game look so unnerving? By fixing... I hope you mean picking him up and throwing him right out the window. Okay. So we know now that that is not a face. That's a bush or something. We know that for certain. Um... So I'm going to stop questioning that, but the the creatures in this game, the designs look terrifying. I love it. Super unsettling. That lamp is wrong. That's a normal lamp on the left there, and it should be two matching lamps. Not found. I hit move or replaced object. Extra object missing? Strange? Oh, I had it in the kitchen. You have to click the right room, and I keep making that mistake. So I think I'm running into scenarios where... I'm running into scenarios where... I, I'm thinking I, I tested something when I actually didn't. Strange light, maybe? In the bedroom? Not found. So... But that's not the right light. I thought it was supposed to be two matching... Alright, well, let's take a look around real quick. Just to make sure that I'm not... Messing anything up. 
Everything looks good here. Good. But that light isn't right, and I know it's not. Bedroom. I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to select for there. Nothing wrong here. I don't think. I don't know what it defines as distorted, right? Like, what, what do we define as distorted? That's an intruder. These guys are easy, at least. Hallway, intruder, you just have to be quick. God, that's so creepy. Thank you. Okay. I still don't know what to do about that light. I have no clue what to do about it. They just don't want to see me win with that one. We're going to do living room. The paintings look fine. But I feel like something moved and I don't know. Something on the desk, maybe? Not found. I don't know what the catch is or what the negative is of guessing as well. Kitchen moved. We know that moved. Okay. So, I don't really know if we're doing well. We haven't gotten a warning yet or anything like that. Okay. Um. That looks good to me. Maybe some of these are really hard to spot. Everything looks fine on the left here. I'm going to try... I'm going to try other and see if that has anything to do with the light. It should be replaced object. Not found. Maybe it's not. Maybe I was... Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I don't, I don't remember that being the case, though. That's going to drive me nuts. I guess if I fail here, we're going to see. Moved or replaced object. Extra object. I don't think there's any extra object here. That's not good. Should that be intruder? Distorted? Distorted, possibly? I get it. No. I need to figure out what those handprints are. Intruder? Probably not, right? Intruder means a, a person. Okay. Would it be other? Maybe other. Because I don't know what else handprints would be classified as. We gotta make it to 6 a.m. here? Okay, yeah, it's other. Okay. That's fine. Good, good. Um, were there always two bottles there? I'm going to go with extra object in the kitchen. I'm not sure if there were always two bottles on the counter there. I know there was a cup. No. Okay. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. That was moved. The shoes moved across the floor. And there's an extra sweater, as well, on the floor. Right? Bedroom. Extra object. There's a third sweater.
Okay, so there can be two anomalies in a room at the same time. That we know. Alright, paintings look normal. Desk looks normal. Remote. Television. Plant. Door. Good. I'm still wondering what they mean by distorted object. Everything looks normal. Looks fine to me. Yep. No painting issues, huh? Which is... Oh, I thought I saw something. Okay. Mine is playing tricks on me. Do you guys feel that sense of... Urgency. Nervousness. That I feel right now. I think these types of games are very good at creating that. Um... And creating that very quickly. And I'm... I thought... I saw something again. Um, I th I'm curious if you guys enjoy these types of games. I, I do want to play Alternate Watch for you at some point. I still am suspicious about those lights. But there's nothing I can do about it now. Okay, nothing but the couches. Paintings look fine. The sink is on. Um. Other strange light distorted object. I'm gonna do other? I knew I heard something. The sink is on. It could be moved object. Oh no, it's other, okay. Because technically you're moving an object to turn the sink on, you're moving the handle, but... Wasn't 100% sure. I'm looking at the painting and uh, all the way on the left here too or the picture. Because I feel like they would hide something like that. Okay, wow, dude. That never gets any less shocking. Let's get you out of here. Please don't turn around. Dude, the, okay. The game developer did such a good job with the intruders in this game. They're absolutely nerve-wracking. Right, I don't see anything wrong with the paintings here, guys. I don't see anything wrong. And we're at 3 o'clock right now. So we're doing okay. Nothing wrong. Paintings look fine. Chairs are in the right spot. Nothing looks distorted or out of the ordinary. What about that carpet, though? I haven't been paying attention to the carpet in the other room. This one. No funny business going on with the lights, huh? Nothing. Hmm. Okay. We still got time. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I know something's going down somewhere. But everything still looks fine. Extra object. Boom. We're killing it now. Get that out of there. We don't have two of the exact same picture next to our TV. Who would do that? Maybe one of these intruders put it there. What do you guys think these intruders are? Like, what are they? They're faceless. They look... And dress like people. I can't imagine what it actually is. How many buttons are on the stove? I'm like looking at the buttons on the stove now. Obsessively. Has there always been that many? I don't know. And I also don't know what the painting. They classify as too many anomalies. Bedroom. Strange painting. Like what's the number? Fix it. Boom. Thank you. Okay. Normal, normal, normal. Again, extra object. The same thing just happened again. Gonna knock that right out. Keep it low. We, ha we still have to get to 6 a.m. And 
We're not even at four yet, so we can't get comfortable. Okay. But other than that, I don't see anything unusual. That chair is mo has been moved. That chair was not pushed up to the desk fully. Yep, I knew it. The chair on the right, guys. See? Someone pulled it all the way up to the desk. Which looks normal, but that wasn't the state of the object when we first took a look at it. Um, I don't see anything wrong here. Carpet looks fine. Chair looks fine. Paintings look fine. What was that? I legitimately feel like I'm like... Oh, that carpet. Moved. The carpet has creases in it. Someone moved it. Right? Yes. Oh. Oh, it's a different carpet. Oh. Okay, well, we'll still take that, but... It's an entirely different carpet, actually. Okay. That's fine. Normal. Um, I'm going to say kitchen. Other? Because they just opened it. They didn't necessarily move something. They opened the stove. Not found. Okay. So I would have thought the same thing would have applied. Kitchen moved. Right? That stove should not be open. Fixing. Good. Not sure why the kitchen sink and the stove didn't have the same rule applied to it, but we'll take it. Victory nonetheless. And each room feels like it tells a story. Um, I, I, I think the game developer really tried to create the look of a standard fairly modernized family home um you can kind of tell by like the studio lights these are not classic style lighting fixtures whatsoever and so while you're doing this that is distorted look how big that chair is i like to think and wonder about the family that lives here um you know, what their interests might be, stuff like that, because we can take a look at the paintings around and see, okay, well, here's the stuff they like to have in their homes. Extra object, extra beer bottle right there in the kitchen. Um, the fact that the house is in really neat condition, but they have beer bottles just sitting there right there on the kitchen table gives me pause. Um... There's a there's an extra beer bottle in the kitchen right there. Don't tell me there isn't. Okay, fixing. Thank you. I thought I just did that, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think I think stuff like that is fun to do in games. I always wonder the mood that the game developer is trying to set when creating the home. Any of the homes that they work on in these indie games. They want you to feel a very specific way. A way in this case that, oh, this looks like a house I've been in before, or this looks like a house I could be in, that plant moved. But yet, something is off. And you might not know what's off unless you really take a good, hard look at the room you're in. And I think the developer of caught uh, caught on camera has done an excellent job of doing that because I'm obsessing even over the most minor details like I'm thinking is that picture right or that those piece of paper is there an extra piece of paper there now was that dish always on the kitchen sink I don't know but what I do know is we haven't hit 
an upper limit of anomalies in quite some time. So we must be doing something right. But we're still obsessively checking every nook and cranny that remote moved. Let's do living room moved object. This really makes me want to play alternate watch. If you guys really would like to see that, please let me know. Um, I do take certain interests in certain projects into consideration when deciding like what I want to play. Um, when it's time for me to record. Was that plate there? Extra, strange, intruder, other... Was it? I'm going to say moved. I feel like it wasn't always there. Not found. Okay, never mind. <sighs> See, this is this is the tricky part. You start to question everything, even things that shouldn't be questioned. Things that have been there the whole time. I just got the chills. Okay, um, please leave. That has not been here the whole time. He is not only... He, he not only doesn't have a face, he's missing the area where his face should be. Okay. That's wrong. Um, that's wrong. Moved or replaced object. So, the correct answer was that those two lighting fixtures should be different. They shouldn't be the same. So, I got that wrong in the last playthrough then. Okay. I see. That's fine. Now that I know... Has that picture always been right on top of the TV? Has it? Kitchen looks good. Hallway looks good. I'm gonna go moved. You fixed 21 out of 23 anomalies. Oh, wow. Okay, we only missed two. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Um, so I'd love to hear your experience, uh, in terms of how you guys felt watching me play this game. Um, I had an excellent time. I think Caught on Camera is special, and I think games like I'm on Observation Duty might be sparking a new subgenre of horror games. We've had, like, security camera horror games before. You know, those have existed for quite some time, but there's a very specific niche that these games are falling into. And I really think it's, it's again, it's the concept of taking, taking familiarity and turning it on its head, twisting it into something terrifying that we don't expect, but that we can experience together and have a great time while doing so. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for Called on Camera. I love you very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.